Remember that awesome scene in Walking with Monsters where a pack of night-stalking Therosophalians ambushed the Lystrosaurus herd? These spoopy therapsids jumped in, jumped out, and let their potent venom finish their kill. Turns out that Kenneth Branagh's silk-smooth narration was mostly correct. I'll explain. Euchembersia was a Therosophalian genus from South Africa. Although it differs in several respects from those depicted in the classic documentary, including being a quarter of the size, Euchembersia does display key traits of a venomous animal. Since the mid-20th century, its huge maxillary fossae have been theorized to hold venom glands, and the specialized ridges on its canines form a primitive venom delivery system. Benoit et al. 2017 went very in-depth in describing and analyzing micro-CT scans of the animal, comparing its maxillary morphology to venomous and non-venomous snakes, as well as other extinct therapsids. They reviewed and refuted alternate hypotheses for the function of the enlarged fossa. It's in the wrong place for a salivary gland, tear duct, or herdarian gland, and the maxillary canals and canine ridges seem to form a compelling case. Benoit's team speculated that Euchembersia could have had the equivalent of a Jacobson's organ, but stated that a venom gland was more likely, and in my opinion, more awesome. The last point we'll discuss is one of the coolest things about the animal. Instead of injecting prey with hollow fangs like snakes, venom would have been injected to the prey through the bite after the venom had passively impregnated saliva through the deep notch located posterior to the canine. I just think that's cool. Thanks for watching. Read the original paper, hit that subscribe button, and check out the Ultimate Battles Discord server for more paleontology content. Vividen out.